If GDE didn't exist, people like me would just be invisible. And you would be stuck in the house and you would have nobody to fight for you. GDE is the voice for disabled people. A lot of disabled people would just be sitting in the house vegetating. So they are invigorating disabled people's minds. They're getting them out, they're mixing with people so they don't feel isolated. Well, if it hadn't been for GDE, I wouldn't have gained confidence and self-esteem. I wouldn't have learned that actually I have a voice and I'm entitled to use it and my opinions count. Um, other than my parents, nobody else ever treated me like that. Apart from a few friends who are still with me, obviously. Um, but other people that you'd have to deal with, just treat, you're a disabled person, therefore if your legs don't work, your brain doesn't work either. Uh, no, I don't pro profess to have the best brain in the world, but I can still think for myself. And it's through GDA that I've started doing that. I think if GDA, GDA didn't exist for me personally, I think the confidence that I've built up would probably go back down again. We need GDA. Um, people would become isolated and they, would, they wouldn't know their rights. Um, and they wouldn't have the information that they need if it wasn't for Glasgow Disability Alliance. Glasgow Disability Alliance has helped me to get into various different courses, including personal safety, food hygiene, and the STEPS course, which was a great course because it helped build my confidence a lot. I went along and the girls that took the class were so lovely and they recognised each and every one of our disabilities and they adapted their tactics to our special needs and at the end of our course not only did we learn how to look after ourselves they actually taught us how to build up our confidence. I've been on a computer course and managed to pass two exams which absolutely phenomenal as far as I'm concerned I never thought I could pass an exam in my life. I've done a personal safety course, which was great fun, but I learned a lot at the same time. I'm now very aware of what I can do to protect myself. My first goal when the personal coaching was to get my driving licence, to become more independent, That's which I did do, and I achieved it, and I'm really happy for myself for doing it. I've done numeracy, and numeracy has helped me with f uh, generally figures, you new know, figures, it's not just shopping. Figures is understanding how the, for example, the interest rates come about if you're getting something in higher purchase, the different levels of what it all means and all that and how you would get the best deal if you go to a, a bank or a shop. Yeah, GDA ran a committee skills course for us and me and three other board members from Antonine Court went there. And we learnt a lot of good stuff, which we will use. Like, say, I'm a vice chairperson on our board, and with another, with three new members, so they learnt different procedures and protocols about sitting on a board, and they found it very beneficial. About three years ago, I took a depression, and this was out of circulation for about a year, and the GDA sort of phoned me up to do a course in uh, Citizens Academy in Steps programme, which I took a part on and that sort of revigored me into uh, getting back involved in a lot of issues. But the, most of the people on the citizenship course were either encouraged or wanted to go on and take campaign issues further. We became the campaign action group and again you weren't sure what, what your direction was, but we've had loads of meetings and I can see people in the group all developing their skills, confidence building, and we've had loads of other training as well. So it's a, a continuous cycle of learning. We, we, we developed a rapport, meaning we could pull together all our expertise and that then, out of that, created the Campaign Action Group. Through, through the Campaign Action Group, we deal with issues concerning independent living. The GDA events and training programmes have all be, always been well supported for the needs of the, the disabled members, and such that 
transportation is laid on uh, to get to the event. Uh, once you're there, you're met by friendly personal assistants. And then uh, during the course of that, these assistants will help you go to the toilet or get you drinks whenever needed. And then to understand the event, to make sure everybody can take part in the event, the support there, like uh, interpreters, note takers. So you have the personal support and you have the information support, uh, all these events, and then they get you home. Um, one of the, the good things um, or the positive things that Glasgow Disability Alliance have created is um, the GDA toolkit. I know there's many out there, but the Glasgow Disability Alliance um, toolkit has been so relevant and so appropriate because it's really met the needs of disabled people and how people out there, statutory agencies, government should be dealing with um, disabled people. GDA has been a lifeline for me because before I heard about GDA, I used to sit in the house, depressed, bored, didn't know what to do with myself. And I have been in a lot of courses, I've done a lot of learning, I've done the computer course, and I've now moved on to do a lot of volunteer work. I do the citizen's advice one day a week, and I do my local hospice shop three days a week. So it's been a wonderful change for me. I'm quite happy to be here and be a member. I like other people fighting because I feel as if I don't have even though I might be passionate about something, I just don't feel as if I'm the right person. So if, I've, if I can voice my opinions to yourself, then you can do it for me. They will fight your corner for you and they get you treated as you should be treated, like the same as any able-bodied person. Like, so your rights are as important as anybody else's and GDA makes sure that the politicians and people in power know that. If GDA didn't exist, then we'd all just be looked on as pests, which I've experienced in my life anyway. And we'd become the hidden community again, instead of part of a community that's fighting for our rights.